What's going on guys? It's the real Mr. Squid here. Welcome back to another episode of the Diary of 20 pack. I hope y'all are having a good spooky season so far. I'm having a good one. <laughs> As you can see, I got my full costume on now. Cat ears and all. I even got a tail. I'm not gonna lie. It's super cute. Look at my little nose. My little cat nose. As I told you guys in the last episode that, uh, Nineo over on the S&P server was making this for me. I'm super grateful because it's super duper cute. I even got a couple of different skins too, so I might switch out throughout the month. I don't know yet. But uh, today we are going to be messing around with a little bit more Woot. And then we are going to be trying to get into Create. So I was looking through the Woot book. And as you can see here, uh, this is all of our rat drops so far. It's kind of crazy. Got a good amount of them. I'm just letting this run on loop. Um, so to get up to the next tier of Woot Factory, we need to put in a um, this perk, the Scale the Summit perk. Okay, and what that does is it makes it, it gives the factory a chance to drop these essences, like these essence shards, and you need those to make the next tier of block. So we're gonna leave this running. But first, we got to put this scale the summit perk in it. So we're going to make that quickly. And then we're going to hop into create. I'm really excited about hopping in create because I know it's going to be kind of complicated. But I think we will manage. So we're going to need this enchant liquefier today to turn some of our enchanted books into... We have a bunch of silk touch books. Let's grab like four of those. Hopefully that'll be enough. And pop this over here. Yeah, so we need to make, uh, as I said, the, the perk here. And to do that, you need a neophyte plate. And to make that, you need a Stygian iron plate, which is easy, and an iron ingot, which is easy. But you need this liquid enchant stuff. And the only way to get that is by putting, uh, to my knowledge, enchanted books inside of the enchant liquefier. So that is what we're going to do here. Enchant liquefier. And there it goes. How much is a Silk Touch book going to make? I feel like that's, oh, you know, 500. That's not bad. 500 is not bad at all. Now, the big question is if we can bucket this stuff out or not. Because that is, yes! Do not drink. Can we drink it? No, we can't. Okay. So now we'll just use that to make this plate in the injection press. So put that there. That did go in there, right? Okay, cool. So Stygian plate plus iron ingot should give us the special one. Maybe, oh, oh my goodness, look how slow that is. That is terribly slow. Okay. So I'll get everything else ready for that recipe. Okay. The other thing's ready in the middle. This is almost done. Yeah, I've been looking into Create. I've been thinking about what I want to do create with Create for a long time now, actually. Okay, let's go put this perk in. And let this keep running. How do we put it in? Do we click it? Do we... Where's the heart? Oh, perk slot. We click it on the perk slot. Okay. So this says perk scale the summit. It's got the perk. Oh, and there we go, it, it popped up. So now we will slowly but surely, at a 5% chance, as you can see there, get these uh, essences that we need to make the next tier of block. I'll also quickly show you guys how I got the Kinetis fluid set up downstairs in the basement. It's just um, uh, infinite water going into the f first fluid vat with ender pearls being outputted, and then that going into the next one the purge fluid going to the next one with redstone being constantly exported into there. And then the Kinetis fluid goes into an ender tank, which then goes over there. So yeah. And we're going to let that run, because I think... I want to see how many of those essences we have by the end of the episode. Should be a good amount, I'm hoping. But, for now, let's get, let's get into some create. Let's get creative, as they say. <laughs> okay. So, when it comes to create, one of the first things that you need to do is create rotational energy. And to my knowledge, there are a couple ways to do that, but one of the best ways, or easiest ways, I should say, in the beginning, is probably a windmill. So let's make a windmill, or a windmill bearing. 
So we need a turntable. We need okay, we're gonna need lots of these shafts. So let's make as much of this as we can make. This andesite stuff. There we go. That's a nice stack of shafts right there. And turntable. There we go. I'm glad it makes eight, because if it didn't make eight, that would be annoying. Okay, so now we have a windmill bearing. And now let me show you the coolest thing I found out about Create. I've never seen any other mod do this. The coding that went into this has to, I, I give it mad props. Like, they did a fantastic job. So most of the items in this mod, you can hold W on to ponder them. And it literally, sh watch this, I'm holding W. Look, at, look what comes up. It shows you everything about it. It literally gives you an example. There's these little scenes that it shows you. You can press Q to identify what you're looking at. And then it shows that, you know, if we put down our little, uh, what is this thing called? Our windmill bearing and put some uh, fan blocks on it, we can then take that rotational energy out and put it somewhere else. And like, uh, here, let me show you another cool one, the crushing wheel. Let's ponder that. Go to the next, uh, or no. Look at this, like, and it's, it's got like such cool little animations and illustrations that someone had to put in, you know, work for these. I was on Reddit the other day and I saw someone made like a, they took this uh, setup, this like three dimensional illustration, and they kind of did it for like all the mods, like diff other mods as well. They used this little setup and I thought that was cool too. Anyway, so now we have a windmill bearing and let's get some wind blocks. I'm not sure which blocks are all... I know wool is, but I think Crate has their own version, like sails or something. Let's take a look here. I guess let's just actually, let's just ponder, because the, the ponder will tell us. Next scene. Oh, previous scene. Windmill bearings attached to the block in front of them. These. White sail. Okay, let's make some sails. Sail. Oh, that's not hard at all. Sail frame. That's that's super easy. Make some of those, and we'll make some of these. It always makes a white sail, huh? Okay, I think twenty-four will be good. Let's see. Divide that by four. That's six. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so we'll do that, and we'll grab some. What's our house made out of? Dolomite. Grab some dolomite and let's see if we can in some of those shafts too. And to make sure we're actually getting rotational energy, let's grab a uh, any type of like cog wheel. Oh, we need buttons. Oh, that's a lot of buttons you need. Wood. Let's get some wood going. Wow, we're kind of we might need to get a wood farm going. Wait, log. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, little cog wheels. Here we come, coming right up. Oh, it makes eight. That's crazy. What about these ones? Let's make some big ones too. Okay, I think we're ready. Let me get a sleep in here real quick. I am very excited because I want to take this rotational energy and just as like a kind of like uh, you know proof of concept, I want to get a cuckoo clock going today if we can. So let's actually make the cuckoo clock right away. Let's make it now. I bet it's really cute. Let me look at it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice cuckoo clock. And then as you can see, let me place it on the floor so you guys can see it better. Uh, the back is where you would connect your rotational energy into to make it work. Now I'm pretty sure there's also a wrench in this mod, so let's see if we can get that going too. Oh, we need gold plates for that. Do we have gold plates? I know there's a couple different kind of okay let's see if we can make these golden sheets no golden plates golden plates mm, almost multi servo press i know we have one of those somewhere did i put it downstairs or did i put it away i might have put it away press let me check multi servo press go that should be making gold plates for us, and we should be able to get our wrench going. Nice! What's it look like? It does not look like any wrench I've ever seen. 
I guess it's got an extra cog on it. Anyway, let's get outside and let's mess around with this. So, I don't know if height matters. Let's hop over here. It's a nice place to do it, I think. Let's go up in the air. We'll place this. Now, is this sticky on multiple sides? This contraption was unable to assemble. Attached structure does not include enough sail like blocks. Minimum of eight are required. Okay. We did know that. That is something we knew. So, we put this here. And then we can put one. Why is that, why is that being weird? There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, nope, not like that. You know, they kind of look like cushions. If you, like, you could sit on them. They kind of look like seats. One, two, three. We're going to make a super basic windmill just to see if we can get this working. So in the end, when I get like um, really nice power going on create, I would th I think it'd be really cool to make like a factory of some sort that basically takes a really simple task, such as an example of making a bucket, you know, just 300 ingots, but something that simple, not exactly that maybe, but something that simple and making it very, uh, very like extravagant and convoluted and advanced by using create like way more advanced than it needs to be just because i don't know i think it'd be a challenge and i think it'd be fun so i know we have to right click this to update it <gasps> it's rotating it works now the question is why is it going so slow and does its slowness have to do with the fact that it's kind of Here, let's see let's do this one, two, three, four. Here, we'll just do one. We'll do. We'll let's do. Let's go make some more sails. I want to make the sails bigger, and see if that speeds it up. That should be enough. It also might be too close to the ground, perhaps. Not sure. Nope, not like that. It's a little tricky to place these things, because like that little illustration pops up. I am not a good windmill builder is what I've learned today. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> Come on, like that. Come on, like that. Like, there we go. Like so, and like so. And one, two, three. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, now update. It looks like it's going faster. Oh, that's definitely going faster. Okay, so it must have to do with the amount of sail blocks you have. So let's grab some of these shafts. Let's look at this cogwheel spinning, because I want to see it. So it's pretty slow. Now, if I understand how this mod works, I should be able to... Also, this, the, this is a big one. If I go from big to small to big, if I understand how actual cogwheels work... Let's see, come on. Let me place you there. And then let me, let's go back to... Come on, it's a little, it's a little finicky. It's a li oh, right there. Interesting. So I'm from big, small, big, small. Let's keep going. Let's see if it gets even faster. I can't. It kind of looks like it's going faster, but I can't really tell. I can't tell, guys. Can you tell? I, I. It doesn't feel like it's going much faster. We'll keep going. We'll go as long as we need to go. Maybe it's not going faster. So why would it not be going faster? Oh, that's not what I want to do. That spins this block around, right? Which then spins...
Hmm, this is interesting. This is this takes a little bit of thought. You can't just do it willy nilly. Now, would there even be a difference if we did it like that? I don't think so. Well, anyway, this appears to be working. Let's slap on our cuckoo clock and see what happens. What? Can you guys hear that? Let me turn it up a little bit. Let's see. I wonder what that would be under. Probably blocks, right? Yeah, kind of. It's got a little, it makes a little noise. That is super cool. Okay, so what time of day is it? Is it, is the day ending? It appears that the day is ending. So if I can read a clock properly, it's about 3.40, give or take. Now it's like 3.50, it's about to be 4 o'clock. Or three o'clock, so be maybe it was two before. I don't know. I can read a clock, guys. I swear. I swear I can read a clock. I, I swear. Um, so I want to. I want to see like the little bird come out of it. So I am going to AFK until it is time, because I know that a little bird comes out of it. At what is it? At like, is it at noon? Um, shows the current time and plays a tune twice a day. Activates once at noon and at dusk. As soon as the, oh, it's gonna. So, oh no, never mind. It's gonna play soon. Okay. So let's see what else we can make and create while we're waiting for that. There's a hand crank, so I can do it manually if I want. Why would I want to do that? Does not sound like fun at all. Okay. The flywheel is what we want to make pretty soon. It's a better form of rotational energy. And what you do with the flywheel is you attach it to the furnace engine. And what you do with the furnace engine is you basically just put it over top of furnace and then burn something. And it turns that, like, you cooking something into rotational energy. And it looks awesome doing it. But that is a little bit out of our wheelhouse. <laughs> Get it? Wheelhouse? Because it's a flywheel? Wheelhouse. Um, because that requires us to do mechanical crafting. And that is a in-world crafting mechanic that Create adds. Where you actually have to place the items in the world in a giant mechanical crafter that we have to make. Which we currently, I don't think, are able to make. Are we able to make it? We might be able to make it. At least some of it. Like we might we might get started on it. Cause I know that you need that quartz stuff. You need this polished rose quartz. And for that you need rose quartz. And then we need sandpaper. I don't know how to sand this down. Sandpaper. It's sand and paper. I don't know why I didn't think of that. And then a rough paper that can be used to polish materials can be automatically applied using the deployer. Applies polish to items held in the offhand or lying on the floor when looking at them. So if I put this in the offhand. Oh my god. That is the. That is awesome. Look at me. I'm sanding. I'm out here sanding stuff down. We're out here creating polished rose quartz. That is so cool. Oh, this mod is the bomb. Oh, sandpaper goes really fast though. I mean, I guess sandpaper goes really fast in real life as well, but it's going to be dusk soon, so let's get out there so we don't miss it. If I miss it, I'm going to cry. Come on. You can do it. I want to... Oop, dang. I'm ready. I feel like we should be able to sleep any second now. It's a creeper! Oh my god, it's a little creeper! That's so funny! I thought it was going to be a bird! Because it's always a bird, but it was a creeper. That's hilarious! Okay, so let's look a little bit at this mechanical... Oop, that's not the right block. Let's look a little bit at this mechanical crafter. So now that we have the sandpaper... let's. I'm going to leave this here. I'll eventually put the cuckoo clock... I'm, I want to create to have its own warehouse. So eventually we're going to build create its own warehouse. That is a fact. So, what were we looking at? We were looking at the mechanical crafter here. Mechanical crafters. For that you need electron tubes, which is, you need a lot of these for. 
A lot of iron ingots and a lot of this polished rose quartz. Yeah, you can make like automatic harvesters in this and uh, plows and saws and drills. Pumps. Literally, there's there's almost nothing you can't make, it feels like. Um, okay, mechanical crafter. One more time for the one time. 13 of those. Those are used in a lot of things, apparently. Wow. Good thing we made some. Brass tunnel, that's not it. Controller rail. Okay, we need a brass casing. For that, we need brass sheets. And the only way to get brass sheets is with a mechanical press, so we gotta get a mechanical press going. For that, we need an andesite casing. Okay, let's make some andesite casings. We're gonna use that to make some brass casings. Or, I'm sorry, to make the mechanical press. Let's see how this thing works. Let's ponder it. So what is this little block underneath it? That is a depot. What's a depot used for? Depots can serve as a stationary belt element. Right-click to manually place or remove items from it. Okay. Just like mechanical belts, it can provide items to processing. Oh, okay. So I think that we need a belt. Or I think we need that thing. So let's see. A depot. Is that hard to make? Oh, this mod is awesome. I don't know if we need the depot, but we have the depot. And then we're also going to need brass. How does one make brass? Brass ingot with crushed brass, which is mixing. Oh my goodness, we're going to have to get a little bit more in depth. Um, we need a mechanical mixer. We need crushed copper ore and crushed zinc ore. And there's no other way to make brass. Plus, we need to heat it up using a blaze burner. And I think we need to go get a blaze for that. So, we might have to take a break on this and finish, you know, keep on going on with this next episode. Because this is a little more in-depth than I thought. But I'm very glad we got to mess with the cuckoo clock. And I do want to see... I do want to see this mechanical press hit down on something. So what else can we use this for? Oh, we can pack stuff down in a basin. We can press a bunch of things into a bunch of things. And it looks like we might not even need the depot underneath it. By the looks of this, we don't need the depot. Let's crush some gold ingots. Try to crush some gold ingots, I should say. Who knows if it's going to work. So, mechanical press. We'll, we'll just slap you right on the back here. Okay, it appears to be connected. So, if we put a block down here and throw a gold ingot, does it work? No, let's try the depot. Man, this thing. Oh, it was working. It's just really terribly slow because we have slow speed. Oh my goodness, it was working. I had no idea. Okay, we gotta get some light over here or something. Lantern, one please. And let's also get a sleep in, so lantern isn't super necessary. It's time to get crushed. Okay, we'll just put this for now under the ground. And let's put the depot down, even though we don't need it. It's holding a gold ingot. It's holding a stack of gold ingots. Holy crap. Look at it go. Do, 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 do. And it makes a noise. One gold plate, please. Thank you. Oh, this is awesome. This is very cool. Okay, guys. So I'm probably going to tear this down because it's a very ugly windmill. But I'll do that, uh, you know, in between episodes and stuff. And you'll come back to a much prettier looking windmill, hopefully. Or maybe I'll build it next episode, and then we'll get into the other stuff with the blaze and the brass and all that. But, before we end today's episode, there is a couple things we got to check on. I do want to show you that uh, the blaze... I do want to show you our queen rat over here and uh, killing, a uh, killing a wither, because it's just so humorous to look at. 
and you know, in case you didn't see it in the in the live stream I did. And how many of these shards do we have? Nice! Three. Three of each shard. That's actually... I don't think that's bad. Yeah, because one shard makes four blocks. So... Oh, and, but for this one, two shards make two blocks. But I, bel I believe the next uh, tier is the Celadon. Let me just double check that at... Uh, Amaranth, Amber, Celadon, yeah. Yes, pretty sure. Yes. Okay, so yeah. This is going at a, you know, we haven't been waiting too long. And then let me just quickly show you guys how awesome our little uh, queen rat over there is. So if, let's say I want a wither star, or uh, sorry, nether star, I can hit craft and I can say make me one please. And it will spawn the blocks over there. And we will watch this go down. Watch how fast this wither's health goes away. That rat is a tank. Don't even be afraid for it. Here we go. Bam. Bam. He's messing him up. Absolutely wrecking him. And there we go. And now we got another star. It's super funny. And that's not even, that's not even as strong as our rat's going to get. I think I said that already, but still. Very cool. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for today's episode. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, I will. Until next time, guys, peace out. Oh, and, you know, keep it spooky, guys. Anyway, <laughs> peace out.